blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. Ooh. All right, so a person at her work asked if that sin can be forgiven. I'm totally messing this up, sorry. She was talking to somebody at work who brought it up. She was like, how can God forgive all? I'm so stupid saying that. She was all like, how can God forgive all sin? If he said he wouldn't forgive this. And she said, 1 John 1, 9, what did God mean by this statement? Can God forgive the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost? Or I guess a better question would be, what is the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost? Uh, look at Mark chapter 3 where the reference is. Mark chapter 3. This is a this is a common question that, to be honest with you, I get asked as, as many as uh, all the other questions in the Bible. I've, I've probably been asked this question at least 30 times. And the reason it's a blasphemy that people ask, that just means they're reading their Bible. Amen. Uh, a lot of times when you're witness somebody, that question doesn't always, that, that issue doesn't always come up because most other people don't read their Bible. So, but it, it is a good question and it's good logic, uh, but it's explained specifically in the chapter. Now look at Mark chapter number three. And obviously Jesus is doing the talking and I want you to have to, you're going to have to focus on the words again, Okay. And notice verse 22, Mark chapter 3, verse 22. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, what's the next word? He, notice the capital, hath Beelzebub, and by the prince of the devils casteth he out devils. Now who's the he? The he is obviously Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They're saying that Jesus Christ is casting out devils by a devil. That's what the verse says. He hath Beelzebub, and by the prince of devils casteth he out devils. That's exactly what the verse says. Very clear. All right. Then Jesus goes in this explanation about a house being divided, which they obviously did not get. Verse 28. Verily I say unto you, all sins, that means all, shall be forgiven unto the sons of men. And the blasphemies wheresoever they shall blaspheme. Verse 29. But... Now, this is where the co the conflict comes in. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Now, look at verse 30 closely. Because they said he, Jesus Christ, hath an unclean spirit now clearly from this verse the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost is not just saying God be D-A-M however you want to say it or God you're you know just people talking about somebody's religion or all that kind of nonsense people talk about the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost is saying that Jesus Christ is performing miracles by an unclean spirit when he's casting those spirits out by the Holy Spirit. That's why it's blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. Now look at Matthew chapter 12. The same passage. <clears throat> and so it can't, and, and, you know, obviously people's biblical knowledge these days, they don't know. But this sin cannot be committed now. You say, why? Jesus Christ is not here in the flesh. That's why it can't be committed. Because they said he hath an unclean spirit. Now look at Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, because, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. And whosoever speaketh a word against the Son of Man it shall be forgiven him. But whoso speaketh against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, now look at that, neither in the world to come. So people are going to be able to do it in the future. Verse 28. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come unto you. 
So clearly from Matthew 12 and Mark chapter 3, the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost is saying Jesus is performing miracles right in front of the people and they're saying what, how you're doing it is by an unclean spirit or the devil. And that's why it's called blasphemy against the Holy Ghost. It can't be committed now. Jesus is not here. 